Hello and welcome. Today I am going to discuss about interesting facts on generative AI in this video. Facts, types of generative AI, applications of generative AI, what challenges we face in generative AI, some success stories and future trends. And obviously we will discuss about ethical considerations for generative AI. Just like and watch this complete video and don't forget to subscribe the channel. So when we talk about the introduction part of generative AI, so generative AI is a branch of artificial intelligence that creates new data images by learning patterns from existing examples. It leverages techniques like neural networks we'll talk about later on what is neural network and it generates content autonomously showcasing creativity and problem solving capabilities. So generative AI, particularly models like GPT-3, has demonstrated remarkable creativity and innovation across various fields. So we'll touch upon a couple of the notable aspects here, <coughs> like text generation. So generative AI can create human-like text range from articles and stories to poetry and book. This ability has applications in content creation, creative writing, and even assisting writers in generative ideas. Art and design. AI models have been used to generate visual art design concepts and even help in the creation of unique logos and graphics. Language translation. Generative models contribute to more accurate and context-aware language translation. They can understand and generate content in multiple languages. Conversation of data. Chatbots and virtual assistants powered by generative models are becoming increasingly sophisticated. They can engage in meaningful and contextually relevant conversations, providing assistance in various domains. Coding assistance. Generative AI can assist developers by generating code snippets based on natural language descriptions. Innovations in healthcare. AI is being utilized to analyze medical data, assist in diagnostics, and even generate potential drug candidates. It has the potential to accelerate medical research and improve patient outcomes. Storytelling and narratives. Generative models can craft compelling narratives, helping in the development of video game plots, interactive storytelling, and immersive experiences. Personalized content. AI can analyze user preferences and generate personalized content recommendation. Whether it's for streaming services, news articles, or product suggestions. Many companies are using these features today. Creativity in music. AI models can compose music, generating original pieces, or even mimicking specific musical styles. This has implications on music creations and the potential for collaborative efforts between AI and human musicians. Problem solving and innovations. Generative AI can assist in brainstorming and problem solving by providing diverse perspectives and generating novel ideas. This is valuable in fields such as product design and business strategy. Adaptable learning. This is a very important part. Generative models can continuously learn and adapt new information and making them versatile in various tasks 
and allow you to continue as usual. So in this slide, we will talk about a couple of generative AI terms. So let's start with neural network. So what is neural network? So neural networks in generative AI simulate the human brain's learning process, enabling machines to generate complex and creative outputs by recognizing patterns in relationship with data. So this technology empowers AI systems to mimic and enhance human-like cognitive function. What is transformative neural networks? So transformative neural networks in generative AI are advanced models capable of learning intricate patterns and generating diverse contextually rich content. Large language models or LLMs. Large language models in generative AI such as GPT-3 are advanced neural networks with unprecedented language understanding capable of generating human-like text across many applications from natural language processing to creative content creation. So we hear a lot about GPT. So GPT in generative AI refers to a state of art language model developed by OpenAI, capable of understanding, generating, and contextualizing human-like text. Leveraging vast free training data, GPT demonstrates remarkable natural language processing and generation capability. So what is unsupervised learning? Unsupervised learning in generative AI involves the model learning patterns and structures from data without explicit labels. It allows to discover inherent relationships and generate novel unguided outputs automatically. So let's talk about how generative AI works. So Generative AI, like GPT-3, works through a process called unsupervised learning, how generative AI works. So, first, training data. So, generative AI models train on vast amount of diverse data. For GPT-3, this includes a wide range of text from the internet. Architecture. This models use a deep neural network architecture. In this case of GPT-3, it's a transformer neural network. We discussed this in the earlier slide. This network is particularly well suited for handling sequential data like languages. Learning patterns. During the training process, the model learns to recognize patterns, relationships, and structures within the data. It doesn't have predefined rules about languages, but learns to generate text by predicting the next word in a segment based on the context. Generative process. Once the model is trained, it can generate new content by predicting the next part of the sequence. Given an initial prompt or context, the model generates text by predicting what comes next, based on patterns it learned during the training. Contextual understanding. One key strength of models like GPT-3 is their contextual understanding. They consider not just the immediately proceeding words, but also the 
broader context of the entire input sequence. This allows them to generate coherent and contextually relevant responses. Parameter chip. The model's performance is influenced by its parameters, which is essentially the internal settings that covers its behavior. For instance, Larger models with more parameters or have a better understanding of complex patterns but may require more computational resources. Pointing In some cases, the treatment models can be fine tuned on specific tasks or domains to make them more specialized. Inference. When you interact with generative AI model, you provide it with the initial input. We call a prompt. And it generates a response based on its learned patterns. This process is known as inference. Iterative improvement. Generative AI models can be continuously improved by training them on more recent on diverse data, adjusting parameters and fine tuning for specific tasks. However, it is important to note that while these models are powerful and can generate human like text, now let's talk about types of generative. Generative AI refers to artificial intelligence systems that can generate new content such as text, images, or other forms of data. There are several types of generative AI, each with its own specific applications and techniques. Here are some common types. Text generation model. Under text generation models, we can talk about two models. That is, one is transformer model, or models like OpenAI GPT that use attention mechanisms to generate coherent and contextually relevant text. GPT-3 is an example of state-of-art transformer-based language model. Another is recurrent neural networks. RNN. These are traditional neural networks with loops allowing information persistence. Long short term memory networks and gated recurrent units are variations of RNNs often used in text generation. Let's talk about image generation models. There are Variational autoencoders or VAEs that generate new images by sampling from a learned latent space, allowing for the creation of diverse and realistic images. Generative adversarial networks or GANs that consist of generators and a discriminator. The generator creates a new image and the discriminator evaluates them. The two networks are trained together with the generator improving over time to produce more realistic image. Music generation models. LSTM networks, similar to text generation, LSTM networks can be used for generating music sequences by learning patterns and structures in existing compositions. Transformer model. Transformers can also be applied to music generation, capturing long range dependencies and producing coherent musical compositions. 
future generation methods. Variational upper encoders or VAEs and GNs similar to image generation, VAEs and GNs can be adapted for video generation. GNs in particular can create realistic and diverse video sequence. Data synthesis models. Data augmentation models falls under this data synthesis model. So generative AI has a couple of models we talked about, right? So this generative AI model can be used to augment data sets by generating new instances of data, helping improve the performance of machine learning models. So if we talk about conversational agents, we can talk about chatbots. It's a rule-based or machine learning-based chatbots can generate human-like responses in a conversation. Some advanced chatbots are also use generative language models for more natural and context-aware interaction. There are just a few examples of the types of generative AI. This field is dynamic and researchers are continuously developing new models and techniques for generating diverse types of perspectives. So now we we'll talk about applications of generative AI. So generative AI, particularly models like GPT-3, has a wide range of applications across various industries. Here are some notable applications we'll talk about. In this slide. Text generation. So creating human like text, like including articles, blog posts, poetry, and creative writing. Code generation. Writing code snippets based on natural language descriptions or specific requirements. Chatbots and video assistants. Chatbots and video assistants, developing conversational agents that can interact with user, address questions, and provide feedbacks. Creative arts, generating art, including paintings, drawings, and music compositions based on input or predefined styles. Natural language translation, assisting in language translation by generating coherent and contextually accurate translations. Content summarization, automatically summarizing large text or articles while retaining the key information, question answering system, building systems that can understand and respond to user queries in a natural language format, language understanding, enhancing natural language understanding by extracting relevant information from text data, personal assistant, creating a AI powered personal assistant that can perform tasks, set reminders, and send messages based on user input. Medical applications. Assisting in medical research, including generating hypotheses, analyzing medical literature, and summarizing patient reports. Code review and generation. Aiding developers in reviewing code generating code snippets, and automating parts of the software development process. Story and dialogue generation. Creating interactive and engaging stories, dialogues, or scenarios for video games, virtual reality, or simulations. 
simulations and training. Generating realistic scenarios for training purposes such as flight simulation, medical training, or emergency response simulations. Design and creativity. Assisting in design tasks by generating ideas, concepts, or prototypes based on input criteria. Language enhancement. Improving grammar, style, and coherence in writing by suggesting corrections and improvements. Data augmentation. Expanding datasets for machine learning models by generating synthetic examples with desired characteristics. Market research. Analyzing and summarizing market trends, just some reviews, and social media data to provide valuable insights. Customized content creation. Personalizing content generation for marketing, advertising, or e-learning based on user preferences. So generative AI has a versatile suite of applications. And as the technology continues to advance, its impact is likely to grow across diverse. Let's talk about challenges in generative AI. So generative AI, particularly models like GPT-3, face several challenges. Despite their impressive capability, here are some key challenges in this field of generative AI. Lack of common sense, understanding. So generative models may struggle with common sense reasoning and understanding context. They often generate responses based on statistical patterns learned during the training, which may not necessarily align with real-world common sense. Bias and pyramid. Generative models can inadvertently spread biases present in the training data. If the training data contains biases, the generated content may reflect and even amplify those biases. So ensuring fairness and mitigating biases is an ongoing challenge in the development of gener generative models. Ethical concerns. The potential misuse of generative AI for generating fake content, fake videos, or spreading misinformation raises ethical concerns. So there is a need to establish guidelines and regulations to address the ethical implications of generative technologies. Data efficiency. Training large-scale generative models require massive amounts of data, which can be expensive and resource intensive. Improving the efficiency of these models to require less training data while maintaining performance is an ongoing research challenge. Interpretable AI. Understanding and interpreting the decisions made by generative models can be challenging. These models are often considered black boxes, making it difficult to explain why a particular output was generated. Continual learning. Generative models can struggle with adapting in new information or concepts after their initial training. Implementing effective mechanisms for continual learning, where models can update their knowledge and adapt to changing environment is a complex challenge. Domain-specific challenges. Different domains have unique challenges. So 
for example, natural language processing, coherence and context preservation are crucial. While in image generation, maintaining realistic details and structure is a challenge. Security risks. The ability of generative models to create realistic looking content raises security concerns. For instance, the generation of fake videos poses risk in terms of identity theft and misinformation. Addressing these challenges is an ongoing process and researchers and practitioners are actively working to enhance the capabilities and mitigate the limitations of generative So now let's talk about success stories. Generative AI, particularly models like GPT-3, has found success in various applications across different industries. Here are some notable success stories we will be discussing in this talk. So content generation. Generative AI has been used to automate content creation for various purposes, such as writing articles, generating marketing copy, and even composing poetry. OpenAPI's GPT-3 has demonstrated the ability to produce coherent and contextually relevant text across a wide range of topics. Chatbots and virtual assistants. Many companies are leveraging generative AI for the development of advanced chatbots and virtual assistants. These systems can engage in more natural and context-aware conversations with users, providing support, answering queries, and assisting with various tasks. Code generation. Generative models have been used to assist in code generation and auto completion. Developers can use AI models to write code snippets based on natural language descriptions, making code more efficient and accessible for both experienced and novice programmers. Creative applications. Generative AI has been employed in creative fields such as art and music. Artists and musicians are using these models to generate unique pieces of artwork or compose music, showcasing the potential of AI to enhance and collaborate with human creativity. Language translation. Generative models have improved the accuracy and fluency of language translation. By understanding context in languages, these models can provide more accurate translations, benefiting global communication and breaking down language barriers. Medical imaging. In the healthcare industry, generative models have been applied to medical imaging for tasks such as image synthesis and reconstruction. This technology can assist in generating detailed medical images and providing the quality of diagnostic Content personalization. Generative AI is used to personalize content recommendations in various platforms, including streaming services, news websites, and e commerce platforms. By understanding user preferences and behavior, these systems can recommend content that is more likely to be of interest of individual users. Simulations and training. Generative models have been employed in simulations of training purposes, such as flight simulators or medical training simulations. These models can create realistic 
scenarios allowing individuals to practice and improve their skills in a safe and controlled environment. Innovations in research. Researchers are using generative AI models to explore new possibilities in fields like chemistry, physics, and material science. These models can assist in generating hypotheses, exploring complex datasets, and accelerating the pace of scientific discovery. This success story highlights the versatility and impact of generative AI across various domains, showcasing its potential to enhance creativity, efficiency, and problem solving in diverse industries. So let's discuss about future trends of generative AI. <clears throat> Let's discuss about future trends of generative AI. Improved model architectures. So expect continued advancement in model architectures, potentially leading to even larger and more sophisticated models than those available as of now. Researchers may focus on refining attention mechanisms, model parallelisms, and incorporating novel neural network structures, domain-specific generative models. So we expect to see a surge in domain-specific generative models tailored for industries like healthcare, finance, manufacturing, and more. This kind of customized models could address specific challenges and requirements within this specific domains. Multimodal generative model. Future generative AI models may become more proficient in handling multiple modalities such as generating text, images, or even audio simultaneously. This could lead to more immersive and interactive applications. Ethical and responsible AI practices. As AI technologies advance, there may be an increased focus on ethical considerations and responsible AI practices. This includes addressing issues related to bias, transparency, and accountability in generative models. Real-time and interactive generation. The next wave of generative models might prioritize real-time and interactive generation. This could enable more responsive AI systems that generate content on the fly based on user feedback. Collaborative and cooperative AI. Collaborative generative models that can work together on a task could emerge. This could lead to AI systems that collaborate with each other or with human users to achieve a more complex and advanced outcomes. Federated learning for generative models. With privacy concerns becoming increasingly prominent, federated learning approaches might be applied to generative models. This would involve training models across decentralized devices while keeping sensitive data localized. Increased Adoption in industry. Generative AI may find broader applications in various industries, contributing to advancements in design, content creation, simulation, and more. Increased adoption could lead to 
development of specialized tools and platforms. OpenAI API and accessible platforms. Platforms like OpenAPI GPT API might become more prevalent, making advanced generative capabilities accessible to the broader audience. This could lead to the development of diverse applications and services built on top of generative models. Let's talk about ethical consideration with respect to generative AI. Generative AI, including models like GPT-3, raises several ethical considerations that need careful attention. Here are some key ethical considerations associated with generative AI. Bias and fairness. So generative AI models can learn biases present in the training data. If the training data contains the biases, model may produce biased outcomes. Developer must strive to identify and mitigate biases to ensure fair and equitable results across diverse user groups. There is a common that AI systems, including generative models, can be misused for malicious purposes, such as generating fake news, fake videos, or engaging in harmful activities. Ethical guidelines and responsible AI practices are crucial to prevent risk. Privacy concerns. Generative AI models may in Partly generate sensitive information or violate privacy by memorizing or reproducing private data from a training set. Ensuring data privacy and implementing mechanisms to protect sensitive information is very vital. Transparency and explainability. Generative AI models are often considered black boxes because it can be challenging to understand how they arrive at specific outcomes. Ensuring transparency and developing methods for explaining model decisions are essential for building trust and accountability. Unintended consequences. The outputs of generative models can have unintended consequences, especially when used in real-world applications. Developers must anticipate and address potential negative impacts working on working to minimize harm and unintended risks. Ownership and intellectual property. Determining ownership and intellectual property rights for the outputs generated by AI models can be challenging. Clear guidelines are needed to address questions of ownership and to ensure fair compensation for the use of generated contents. Security risks. Generative AI models can be vulnerable to Adversarial attacks where malicious actors attempt to manipulate the model's behavior by introducing carefully crafted inputs. Ensuring robust security measures to protect against such attacks is very, very, very critical. Environmental impact Training large scale generative models require significant computational resources, leading to substantial environmental impact. Developing energy efficient models and exploring ways to minimize the carbon footprint of training processes is important considerations. Informed consent. Users interacting with generative AI may not always be aware 
that they are engaging with an AI system. So providing clear information and obtaining informed consent from users about the AI's capabilities and potential limitations is required. Addressing these ethical considerations requires multidisciplinary approach involving technologists, ethicists, policymakers, and the wide community to ensure the responsible development and deployment of generative AI technologies. Ethical guidelines, standards, and ongoing dialogues are essential to navigate the evolving landscape of AI ethics. So to, to conclude, so generative AI hurdles a transformative era in creativity and problem solving industry. And it has unlocked limitless possibilities. So, generative AI's ability to generate diverse content is not just a technological fit, but a catalyst for innovation across different industries. If you have any questions, Please feel free to ask that in the comment section, chat section. I will be very much happy to answer the questions. Hope you like the video. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.